Oh, hello there. Thank you for joining me at my private consultation. My name is Dr. David Alexander, and uh, I understand that you are after some kind of medical treatment. Is that correct? Just a lucky guess, really. Excellent, excellent. Well, do come in and pop yourself down there on the chair. I like to get nice and comfortable in my uh, private consultations. I find that wearing slacks, jogging trousers, really eases up any tension I might be feeling. So uh, don't mind me, I'm just going to recline here. And of course we all know that the more relaxed you are, the more attention that you pay. And so there won't be any more little accidents. Anyway, uh, you've got nothing to worry about, I'm perfectly sure. So, how can we, how can we help you today? Uh, 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 some kind of plastic surgery, perhaps? Well, everyone... Everyone uh, gets older, don't they? And uh, bits start to sag. And we can't all use uh, bull clips to pinch the uh, skin back. So, not that I'm saying that you are by any means old, but uh, I think there's, you know, there's always room for for a little tweak here and there, don't you think? Yes? You know, it's it's not an insult. I, I take great pride in my work. And, uh, I mean, I've, I've performed surgery on people that really didn't need it at all. Uh, but they thanked me afterwards. Well, I assume they did. I never really heard from them again, but, uh, oh well. Anyway, so, uh, this consultation is obviously paid for already. So, thanks for that. Um, I know it was a bit expensive, but believe me, it's worth every penny. The money is in fact going to go uh, on on medical conferences that I have to attend. Uh, there's there's one coming up actually in um, somewhere horrible, uh, terrible weather. Uh, oh, little place, little place by the seaside, Miami. That's where it is. Miami, Florida. I think there's uh, a nightclub there or something where they have medical uh, conferences that I shall be going to. You know, it's, it's, it's a week-long uh, seminar. I think you only have to spend an hour there or something like that. But your money is going to pay for me to go there and learn uh, more doctory things. So, you know, uh, you you will be saving lives, in effect. So it's very noble that you've come in here for this uh, very vain operation to remove some of that. So, you know, I thank you and and my other patients thank you as well. Right. Well, um, what what can we just have a peek around? What can we do with all of that? Do you reckon? Is there anything that you're not particularly attached to that you have grown less fond of over time that we could uh, reduce or remove entirely, perhaps? Uh, no, no, I, I don't need to note anything down. I'm I have a, a medical brain. I can remember all of these little chats that we have about uh, potential work. It's fine. I've got it all all up here. So, uh, yes. Well, I mean, what I would ideally like to do is get uh, a closer look at your face. We can start with the face. 
Uh, so in a in a moment or two, I will. I'll pop you on the uh, medical bed. Just you can lie on that, and then I'll get up close and I'll 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 mark with a pen. You might have seen that in the movies. What we can do is just draw a dotted line. Uh, on the bits that we think that we can. Uh, we can hope to do something with, and then um, just take it from there. Really, how do how do you feel about that? Well, there's no need to be nervous. I mean, you know, I am a professional medical doctor. Um, hmm? you heard my license was revoked. No, that's scandalous. No, no, I've just decided to set up a private practice for uh, personal reasons. I, I, uh, I like to get personal with my patients, uh, especially if they are as um, beguiling uh, and as charming and as lovely as you seem to be. Um, which, you know, certain um, of my superiors at my last position felt differently about uh, about the nature of uh, 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 a doctor's relationship with his patients, but uh, but I am of the opinion that uh, you know I, I, I've seen bits of you that that no one else has uh, seen. Not you, but like you know my patients. In fact, I've seen bits of you again. Not necessarily you personally, but. The night is young. Uh, bits of my patients that they themselves have not even seen. You know. Um, maybe I'll just put a little, little extra bit of someone else's body uh, into yours. It's like a little. You know, I'm an artist. It's a little flourish. You know, a medical artist. I'm a me- I'm a medical artist. That's, yeah. Excuse me, my uh, nose is running. <laughs> Got to catch it. Just a little, no mind. No. Yeah, I've got a bit of a cold coming on, but I wouldn't worry about it. You're uh, in a in a medical place. You're, you know, if you get ill, we've got all the um, all the all the medicines and things here. Do you like uh, Do you like chocolate? Just um, just got a, a bar of chocolate here that I'm just going to. Uh, Nibble on. I like the um, bit of a sugar rush that it gives me before I uh, set to work on uh, uh, patients. Just to, you know, gives me a bit of oomph. So excuse me. Hmm. Oh, delicious. So expensive now these days. And this is also where your money's going, on to, um, you know, feeding the um, hungry medical professionals in the world. So, we thank you for that. Would you care for a piece? No? Oh. Mm. So what made you want to come and um, see me personally then? I mean, I know I'm a a handsome doctor, as doctors go. Modest as well. But, um, you know, I've got colleagues in uh, in the hospital. You didn't want to... You wanted to see... You'd been recommended. Oh, I see. Very nice. Well, yeah. Like I say, they, they probably uh, all love me, the patients, I'm sure. I have excellent bedside manner. As you'll see in just a moment, because um, as soon as I finish this finger of chocolate, I'm going to um, just ask you to uh, pop on the um, medical table. I tell you what, why don't you um, why don't you close your eyes? Just close your eyes, and I'm going to. I'm going to lift you up and I'm going to just uh, pop you on the medical table there. There we go. Right. My goodness, you're as light as a feather. As 
astonishing, really, because I thought you would... No, no, I thought you would weigh more, but um, this is uh, very easy to carry here, isn't it? That's nice. So just here you go, on the table here, and just lie down there. There we go. And open your eyes. Yes, hello, that's much better. Got you right where I want you now. Perfect. So, right. Um, this is... Now that I'm up close to it, it's... Honestly, it's a very lovely face you have here. Did you grow it yourself, or...? My goodness me, yes. Most people don't know that the skin is... Um, what we what we call a uh, it's um, I mean it's part of the uh, the lungs, isn't it? It all breathes. Yes, so you've you've taken good care of it. I don't I don't really know why you're why you're in here. Maybe just to just to see me. Eh? That's. Um, well, I'm, I'm very glad that you came in. It's very nice to see you too. Ooh. Certainly this close. It's um, a rare treat for me uh, to get this close to uh, such a lovely face. Oh, goodness me. Anyway, uh, sorry, getting distracted. Um, right, I'm just going to... Uh, uh, I'm going to... Mark off on your face, sort of dotted lines, you see, um, and and that's going to indicate to me where we can make incisions and all of that sort of thing. Um, so I don't uh, I don't actually have I've run out of the special pens that we have to draw on skin, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to use this. Um, Biro, but uh, just if you hold still and try and make your face as taut as possible, then I can just like scribble in like here, see, just kind of going uh, there, a bit round there, and um, you know, we take some of some of that off there, and um, what what do you call What's this thing? Huh? A nose. Intriguing. Well, yes, we can... Are you... Are you fond of it? We can... We can take that down anyway, so I'm just gonna... There you go. And now, um... Uh, this ear here, we can, uh... Just gonna draw a nice big line around the whole thing there. Yeah, and then um, uh, this this ear over here, just going to, oh, there we go, goodness me. Yep, we can just take that whole thing off. I mean, you've got, you've got one already, you don't need, you don't need two of them, do you? That's just uh, greedy. Um, and then uh, this, this forehead bit here, we can we can just just gonna draw some more lines on there like that. Oh, a bit of blood. That's fine. That's supposed to happen. It's just oops, the sharp um, point of this pen, you see. But that's okay. We can just we're in a we're in a medical practice. I can just get you a bandage or something. A bit of tissue. The uh, bit of tissue I blew my nose on earlier. Just gonna. Mop up your blood. There we go. Lovely. Don't worry, it's perfectly... Um, I've got, you know... Any bacteria that I have is obviously sterile. Being as I am a doctor. And uh, an alcoholic. But that's fine. Uh, right, so... Okay then. I think that... Um... Is there anything that you would like me to do further down there, like um, you know, under the under the neck, the wattle, anything like that? The uh, the throat area, just 
I'll just mark it off anyway. If I mark it off now, then we can um, always change our minds later, can't we? So this is certainly looking to be an extremely expensive operation. This this skin is um, it's quite it's quite loose, isn't it? Like it's quite you know it's quite stretchy. It's honestly it's lovely. It's extremely silky and smooth. Some of the nicest skin that I've that I've that I've had the pleasure of uh, touching in a while. Would you? Would you mind signing something to the effect that I might, um, you know, uh, keep whatever I um, remove? How, how would you feel about that? Just as like, um, you know, I could I could frame it and I could have it up here as uh, an example of my. I go to trade shows sometimes, medical trade shows, and they've got little, uh, you know, the conferences they've got little booklets that they hand out with like samples and things it is a bit weird yeah but uh you know that's just the uh the modern world that we live in i could i could i could i could do a discount if you let me keep some of the bits well, well i just it's just it's just my way of getting getting closer to you isn't it? That's just uh No? Well well look, I, the, the, certain doctors have certain ways of working, certain practices that uh, you know not the mainstream necessarily way of doing things, but uh I like the personal touch, and I think you do too. Anyway, anyway, we can discuss this another time. Perhaps over uh, drinks? Yeah. Just a thought. Speak to my receptionist. We'll, um, we'll try and book something. Anyway, um, right, I, I think I've marked enough of your face now with all these lovely dots and dashes and things, so let me, um, if you just want to close your eyes, I'll... Uh, I'll carry you back to the chair, so just, just, just close your eyes. Yeah, just close your eyes. There we go. There we go. I'm just going to carry you back to the chair now. Good. Good. Right. Well, there we go. Um, I think that went rather well, don't you? Yes. So that we've got uh, plenty to work with there. All these dots and dashes and things on your on your lovely face uh, most people don't know that uh, skin is in fact uh, a type of uh, uh, what, what do you call those things organ so you know keep keep care of that because you know you could go out in the sun and get some horrible kind of sunburn or something like that and then all of these would uh, you'd wash it off wouldn't you and uh, it would all be uh, patchy underneath you don't know what I'm talking about you know when you uh, are on the beach and you've got uh, your vest on you fall asleep with your vest on and then you've got a big red neck and red arms but then it's all pasty no? Ignore me, I'm, I'm... You might want to consider washing these dashes off, uh, if you like. Uh, I mean, you're welcome to keep them on. Some people do. In fact, we have, we're just next door to a, um, a tattoo parlour, which uh, we actually operate a uh, coupon scheme with them that uh, you get 25% uh, off. If I refer you, would you like to... No, you're just going to wash them off. That's fine. That's fine too. Not to worry. Uh, some people like getting inked, don't they? But uh, I suppose we're going to 
we're going to chop and change all of this around anyway, so if you, if you did want a face tattoo, we could uh, sort that out for you afterwards. That would be fine. Anyway, I have to go and pack for uh, Florida, Miami, yes. So, a uh, big conference coming up, as I mentioned. Um, right, okay then. Uh, thank you for coming in, and uh, my receptionist will book a, uh, a follow-up appointment. Uh, we can we can get you familiar with anesthesia. That's not my receptionist name. It's the uh, it knocks you out, so that we can operate. Good. Well, see you next time. Bye for now.